Hey guys, Alex here. And so in this sort of, I would say, anticipated video, I'm actually gonna be discussing Ozzy, my obviously chaotic, psychotic, awesome dad, uh, Chinese water dragon. So I got him back in May of 2018, and I actually didn't reveal him till later in August last year. And the reason why is because I had hopes to breed him to my female Chinese water dragon, Harriet. If you guys follow the channel, you know that was a very awesome and successful attempt because they had some beautiful babies, super healthy hatchlings, and it went really smoothly. However, just like any other kid my age, university is on its way. So you guys might be wondering, well, why don't you see much of Oz anymore? And in order to no longer continue breeding, I actually do not have Ozzy. And for those of you that have a good eye, you can already tell this is not my usual background or studio where I film. I'm actually at my good friend Ryan's place. He runs Boreas Exotics, and he's now holding Ozzy for me. So some of you guys might be wondering, well, why have I not mentioned this at all? And it's, honestly, it's just because I've been busy. I don't really announce a whole lot to the public till after it has been confirmed. Like I said, my water dragons had babies. You guys didn't know about it till at least a week later. For not as important events like rehoming my mail temporarily while I go off to school, yeah, you're going to be getting this super late video. So in the case of this video, guys, I made it so that way you can see Ozzy is doing fine. He's really healthy here. Only downside is he got a little bit of nose rub just from being confused, being moved from a new environment with Harriet, my lovely female, to now living a life of solitude for now. Thankfully, he is a proven breeder. As I've stated in past videos, specifically when I toured Brace Exotics, Ryan does breed Chinese water dragons as well. So having a proven breeder male like Ozzy will actually allow him to expand on his bloodline lineages for his captive bred projects. So in a way, Ozzy was a great father for Harriet's offspring, and he'll be able to continue breeding other water dragons successfully. In terms of whether or not I'm going to get Ozzy back or not, I can honestly say it's going to be hit or miss. I guess they never miss. But we'll just have to wait and see. Like I said, he produced some beautiful offspring. I know he can breed. He's going to have great potential for Ryan's collection here at Boreas Exotics. And to be perfectly honest with you, you know, he's just an awesome lizard. I live pretty close to Ryan, so thankfully I get to visit and check up on Ozzy to make sure he's doing all right, which he is. And other than that, that's him for you. It does suck that I don't get to see him in my awesome enclosure being housed with Harriet in the morning, but at the same time, I know that it's for the best. And like I said, after college, I'll probably be able to get a good chance at attempting on breeding the exact same pair to get more of the snake dude lineage out there, as I like to say so myself. So that is Ozzy for you guys. A little bit chaotic as always. He's always a spunky boy. Not so fond of handling, which is why I'm being very careful with the way he's moving around. Isn't that right, big boy? But there you guys go. Like I said, he's doing great. And that's Ozzy for you. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, in terms of the care of Chinese water dragons to keep an amazing animal like Ozzy, how do you do that? Well, what I've done below is I've linked a description to a Facebook group that I run as well as a bunch of other admin teams called Chinese Water Dragons Correct Care and Ownership. Pretty much what you can do there is message any of the admins there and we will be able to help you out with any questions in regards to keeping and breeding Chinese water dragons. So definitely check that out. Of course, I'm on there. I'm always gonna be posting photos of Harriet. Every time I get updates on Ozzy, I'll be posting on there. And then of course, the uh, adorable photos of the captive bred offspring I've been hatching out. So definitely check that out. Until then guys, this has been Alex, the Snake Dude 1814, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.